Now to Project Drive Safer, TMJ4's commitment to safer roads. Plows, of course, will be out tomorrow, and you may notice a new feature meant to make the trucks stand out. Bruce Harrison shows us the changes. You may soon be seeing more green lights like these on Wisconsin roads. And yeah, sure, they seem different at first, but the goal is to reduce crashes caused by limited visibility. We think it's been effective. The Washington County Highway Department introduced the lights shortly after the state approved them last year. What's the advantage of having a green light on a truck? Mainly it's to offer more contrast, more visibility in low light conditions like a whiteout snow or fog, or even if there's bright sunlight on the horizon, the green should hopefully offer a little more contrast than, than an amber. County Assistant Highway Commissioner Josh Glass says they have them on five trucks and they're adding more. We're still gathering a lot of feedback on it and kind of seeing how our, our crews are, are monitoring each other out there, uh, seeing what they can see during a snowstorm, um, as well as other weather conditions. According to the Wisconsin County Highway Association, nearly half the counties in the state have started to use them, and municipalities are too. Just don't confuse them with a green light at a stop and go light. Uh, that's a solid color. These, these are flashing lights, not to be confused. They don't mean go faster around our trucks. Uh, they're meant to be a safety measure, make ourselves more visible. Reporting in Washington County, Bruce Harrison, TMJ4 News. Bruce, thank you. And you can wake up to the latest snow and traffic updates tomorrow morning on TMJ4 News Today. Live reports start at 5 a.m. And you can track snow as it moves into your neighborhood right from your phone with a live radar on our TMJ4 News app, and it's free to download.